yes finally this is another road trip video it's been a while since the last video so um we're just doing a routine run now from oslo to trondheim and back again uh, but uh, at least this time uh, we have the new barrier pack yes for a long time followers you know what the heck is going on yeah i had my car for some issues and uh, it's back now so hopefully nothing happens during this trip <laughs> Yeah, <clears throat> so it's not too busy weekend. Uh, today it's Saturday morning. Uh, it's 8.19 now in the morning. I have some Nimber task. I have my trailer with me. And we have the winter tires on now. So that is stud the tires. Uh, it's a 19 inch uh, cyclone wheels, rims. And um, Nook and Hakabilita 8 on the front here on the, the tractor trailer or uh, the prime mover and uh, the trailer has um, also a Hakabilita 8 and you can probably hear that increased noise and uh, we will see now if the consumption goes up significantly because uh, it's still dry weather outside uh, so you're gonna see how much the consumption goes up <laughs> yeah but anyway the first stop will be uh, I'll charge it 90% as always when I start from home but uh, we have to stop in Hama, take a slight detour. So I'm gonna stop in uh, Nebenes to fill up a little bit. Yeah, because you know, with the new battery pack, I will not abuse it as much as I did before. So that means I would try to avoid those deep discharges. So that I would try to not go below 50%, uh, sorry, 50 kilometers, which is like at least 15, 15%, uh, yeah. All right, so first stop is uh, uh, Nebenes, yeah. We are at the supercharger in Nebenes. So here we see not too crazy uh, consumption. Uh, consider that we actually gained some elevation here. There, there's some slight elevation from Oslo to Nebenes, uh, and uh, we are getting uh, about yeah 70 kilowatt, which is pretty good. Let um, me switch here. So again, you know, this is a new battery pack, fresh new one. Uh, if I switch to energy. You see that okay at 67 percent i get 68 kilowatt which is pretty good uh so i'm just gonna juice up maybe like 10 minutes just to have that extra margin so i don't uh, reach the next supercharger with almost no juice left yeah and uh hmm, i guess we can go to uh the gas i mean sorry uh we can go to the restroom over there i guess this is who this is uh this is the red model s with they have some stuff in the back there, you see? It's not only me. I'm not the only one uh, carrying lots of crap in the, in the Model S. <laughs> yeah.
the supercharger in aluminum. I have sun in my face, but I blocked it out. <laughs> so you see here, the charging speed was over 100 uh, kilowatt. Uh, but then uh, that dude, that dude uh, next to me, he talked to me. <laughs> and meanwhile, it dropped to 90 something. So, yes, I will show you later that I have more than 100 kilowatt um, supercharger speed for now. Yes. And then, of course, eventually it's gonna drop. It will be uh, reduced. Yeah. So, anyway, let's see. Uh, the next stop, well, most of you guys know this route very well. So, next stop is Alvdal, 165 kilometers from here. So, uh, that is always a difficult route, a uh, difficult leg because we have to go uphill and also kind of far with the trailer. So uh, we have to charge to 90% before we leave here. So that means uh, about a half an hour more, I guess. But anyway, it is uh, 11 now and uh, I've been up for a couple hours. So that means it's time for lunch. And this is what I have for lunch. <laughs> it is uh, two salmon sandwich. I grabbed it yesterday, uh, we are the Too Good To Go app, and this is from Morten's Crew. The Morten's Crew is in Jelle Rosen. You guys should check it out if you live nearby there. They always have good food, and you know, this, oh man, let me, let me take out one of these. Oh. This, this sandwich here is like 10 times, at least 10 times better than the sandwich at the gas station. Oh, mmm, 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 good stuff, man. Much awesome. This is much better than. Hold on, I have no manners. This is much better than um, uh, Jaff's burger or something. Oh, yes, I'm just gonna enjoy the good food now. Yeah, while it lasts. <laughs> mm. We are at the supercharger in Alvdal and oh yeah, we are getting some good supercharger speed here. 105, yeah, it should climb up to about 110. I think the maximum I've seen on this battery pack is 115. Hmm, All right, let's see. So the next stop, well, this is a uh, pretty uh, standard procedure for you guys also, okay. Here, clutch but I have to go to, uh, I have a nimber task, a pickup around here. Where was it again? Uh -huh. um, how do I center that one? How do I? No, it's messed up now. Is there a way to uh, realign this? <laughs> uh, uh, let's see. I have to go to Fandrem over here, which is, well, you know what? You know what I can do? Let's see. If this one is just slightly off, we could just tilt the camera like this. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, it's like a boss. Uh, let's see, if I do this, okay, then it kind of, yeah, aligns the north up again. Hmm, but I have two choices. I can go there, fund them on the way there, or I can go there on the way back. And you know what? I think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. I have like leftover space in the trailer now, so um, I think I should go there on the way there because I have uh, an elevation advantage now. So that means I can just juice up to let's say 95% and then go all the way there and hopefully I don't have to juice up. Um, yeah, if I need to juice up, there is also a Chalmo 
in Oshgang. Yeah, because on the way back it would be like disadvantage to just go here and here and then fight the hills up here. Yeah. So um we're gonna stay here for a while. Let's see. Yeah, we probably have to stay here for um, I don't know, 45 minutes. Yeah. Ooh, look, we have snow here. <laughs> oh yes, snow is coming. Yeah. Uh there it's been snowing here. I don't know when, but um, it's not too cold right now. Uh, you see, I'm still wearing my uh, summer jacket here, but I guess on the way back here tonight, it's going to be much, much colder. I saw the weather forecast. It'll be like zero degrees Celsius or colder than that. Ooh. But anyway, we should do a little uh, cargo inspection. So let's open the trunk first. Um, well, that's my mattress. Wow, it's kind of dirty. Shit. Uh, but I have some furniture in there. And uh, this is, of course, the six seat configuration. Here we had some cargo, but it's empty now. It's just some carpets. And uh, I mean, blankets, not carpets. And here we have, uh, yeah, everything is wrapped in blankets. Uh, there's some furniture in here. Uh, yeah, just some light furniture. That's some t uh, chairs. This is a, uh, uh, I don't remember what it's called, but uh, everything is in place. And uh, oh, I also <laughs> got this one. It's uh, like it's a very nice uh, stroller for carrying uh, cargo. And I also uh, put on this uh, this non-slip tape here because without this, it can be kind of slippery when wet. But with this one. It's fine, but you see, after a while, it tends to rip off, so I have to add some new one. Yeah. So this is pretty awesome. Uh, you've probably seen the trailer many times before. I get lots of comments uh, when I deliver and pick up items. They're like, people are like, ooh, that's a nice trailer. Yes, I agree. You see, you can adjust these hooks freely. And uh, here you have uh, places where you can take them out like this. And you can just add as many hooks as you like. I have lots of hooks in this trailer. And you see we have, at least on this one, we have three levels. Here, here, and here. We have the rails. You can, I can just place the hooks exactly where I need them. So uh, it makes you know, securing cargo much, much easier. Yeah, and because we have this, um, this roof that can be open, uh, I can still stand upright in while I'm working in the trailer uh, but when I'm driving you know I just fall it down and then it causes le less drag so I remember I uh, tested a lot of trailers before I bought this one and some of the other trailers they were much bigger in size but it didn't really give me that much more space it was just taller you know because it didn't have an, a lid that could open like this so it's a very expensive trailer it cost almost 50,000, wait, what's it again? I think it was 38,000 nook. <laughs> yeah, but it is in aluminium. It is waterproof and uh, pretty good. I've been using it winter and summer, all day, all night, yeah, all year. Yeah, all right. <laughs>
and now in uh, Kwikna and uh, when I bail out, yes, I saw that I would run short so the, face, the safest way is to just juice up here at the channel and do it as early as possible when the voltage is high Oh man, you know the next thing we need is uh, electric tractors Yeah, <laughs> those are so, so noisy So um, Tesla, you need to make electric tractors They don't drive that far um, It's not like you're gonna long haul with a tractor anyway but, oh yeah, let's see. You know what? By the way, before I get in the car, I did do this smell. Freaking, I don't know, it smells like manure or shit or something. It's horse shit or cow shit or bullshit. And I didn't smell anything until I got out of the car. So, oh, you know the, the bioweapon defense mode? Well, it's like, well, you use it when it's really bad, but uh, the the passive cooling in the, I mean, sorry, the passive filtering in the car is already pretty good. So I'm gonna show now, okay. So here you have the bioweapon defense mode. Let's suck it out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, so and then within seconds, like around 10 seconds, it sucks out all the bad uh, smell in here. Oh, so that feature is just awesome. Okay, I think that's enough. So let's see, let's check out the charging here. Okay, okay, settings, energy. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we are charging at 46 kilowatt, which is pretty uh, close to max. So um, around 70% is where you get the maximum 48 kilowatt. So you see 120 amps, well, if you try to switch off the heater, we might get one or two more amps here. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's let's keep on the heater. But let's see. So let me show you here. Um, there's no need to be a zero hero and try to stretch it and almost run out and uh, degrade the battery more. Uh, so 240. Okay, we have some downhill from here, but 106 plus. Well. This navigation can still not do the multi-point uh, navigation, so I have to estimate maybe around 120 something kilometers, maybe 125 to get there. And just to be safe, okay, if, if 125, so you know, I might, I might reach a supercharger with like 10, 20 kilometers, but that's gonna kind of cutting it get close. So let's charge for like 10 minutes, and then we can go. We are at the supercharger in uh, Klett and uh, I just picked up one uh, item. The sender was so nice to uh, drop it off at Circle K. So it is this thing here. Uh, let me see, let me at least put on one glove because it's kind of dirty. Yeah. 
I do all the dirty works. So we see here, this is, uh, I think it's a trunk, yeah, this is a trunk mat for, uh, for Model S. So, uh, he didn't bother washing it. I don't know, what, what the heck is this? Is this shit? Is that shit? Uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna put it in here. I think it'll fit here. Yeah, this is the, the, the spot under the trunk, so I'm just gonna, yeah, I don't know. Okay, all good. Uh, the cargo has been loaded, and then in the back here we have. Uh, well, let me see. Oh, it's uh, it's raining slightly, but at least it's not too heavy rain. Yeah, I'll, I was hoping it didn't rain too much here, but let me show you in the trailer. Oh, voila! So we have. Well, okay, you can't see it that well, but let me open this one and this one. <sighs> Most of the cargo goes in the trailer, uh, and then I use, yeah, so, there you see, we have, um, we have pick up the four cha uh, chairs uh, in front of them, and then we have to deliver some stuff, so this is, I mean, it's not too crazy this weekend, so I can pick up some items before I deliver some items. When I fill up the, the trailer to the max, I have to... <laughs> Yeah, sometimes I have to like drag extra just to get rid of some stuff before I can pick up more. But this one, this weekend is uh, pretty easy. Oh, look at this speed! <laughs> 112 kilowatt. Haven't seen that for a while. I was about to say I could get used to this, but you know what? I shouldn't get used to this because <laughs> soon enough I will get the, the charging speed limitation. We will see when it uh, kicks in and uh, if this, you know. This barrel pack is the version 3 barrel pack, so maybe it takes longer before uh, it kicks in. We don't know. Okay, so we are here at the supercharger, and uh, we have to deliver something around here, and then deliver something else around here. And then we have to go all the way to Sherdon to deliver uh, one more thing. And, uh, hmm. and then on the way back, I'm gonna pick up something. So, um, and then back here again. So that's about 46 or around 100 kilometers to do the round trip. Uh, so you know what? I have enough to, to take that round trip, but um, mm, it's raining outside. See here? Oh, wow. Well, yeah. It's kind of raining outside, and that means higher energy consumption. So uh, I should use up enough here, so I don't have to top up in showdown. I'm gonna go deliver that stuff and go right back. And so it could be a slight detour to go to the uh, supercharger. Maybe not too much, but uh, since I'm already here, using up, I'm gonna just stay here for a little bit more. I only stayed there for less than half an hour, 25 minutes, and already at 250 kilometers. Oh shit! This is good shit. Oh yeah. We are in Shardon, it's pouring outside, and uh, I'm gonna deliver the chairs. So I think the dude came out, or did he? Yeah, all right, so the chairs are in the trailer here. So let's see, oh, I have to get my gloves. Uh, I need both hands now. 
Uh, yeah, so that was, <laughs> that was it. He came out to uh, pick up the item. So let me see, where are we now? Okay, so we are kind of close to the supercharger. Uh, we have six, okay, four stalls available. Uh, how far away is that? Yeah, but you know, whatever. We're just gonna go to this, the other supercharger because, uh, let me see if I try to navigate to this one. And I have to go, I have to pick up one item over there, another furniture. So, I love furniture. 46 kilometers, and we have pff, yeah, plenty. Yeah, so, um, let's go then. Finally back at the supercharger in Klet. Not too crowded uh, today and not too much task. Uh, I can switch off this for now. Yeah, usually when I have uh, my runs here, I have way more tasks. Today is not that much. Um, yeah, but that means I can get home faster. So you see, it's almost nine now, and uh, it takes. Yeah, it takes about two hours to drive to Aludal, and that means if we can leave in about 45 minutes ish, oh, you know what? We might have to juice up in uh, in Bajikok, so maybe after, yeah, half an hour ish. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, wow, good speed as always. Hmm. But you know what? Uh, I get the impression that the charging speed is pretty fast, and now I stopped using range mode. So, uh, let me switch off this uh, the light here. Okay, so dome light, all okay. So you see, range mode is switched off. Now I used it. I used the range mode um, this summer, but then I found out that range mode allows um, the battery temperature to be slightly higher, and that is not always good, especially when you pull a trailer because uh, you generate some heat, and um, I want to have the battery pack as cold as possible when I arrive with the supercharger, you know? So, it seems I get pretty fast supercharger speed. It's like, it is so unusual to have this fast speed. Yeah, uh, and usually I have to stop and charge for, uh, let's say, uh, well, especially, especially these long legs, like here. I have to charge, like... 50 minutes to almost an hour, but now, nowadays, now, it seems like I can get away with a half an hour to 45 minutes only. Yeah, but it, of course, depends how, how deep, I mean, how low I arrive, but, uh, yeah. I cannot use cruise control. So let me show you here and try to use cruise control. Cruise control is not available. Uh -huh. Yeah, reduce front radar visibility. Ah, uh, what the heck? Let me see. Let me try. Let me try to enhance that for you. Okay, I have to lower this one. Okay, okay let's try again. Let's try again. <laughs> oh shit, they have to do something with this, it's a um, little bit of snow and then BAM! Cannot use uh, cruise control. Uh, how the heck is uh, the, <laughs> the self-driving gonna work along with AP2 cars? Mm.
are in Bangkok now. <laughs> it's freaking winter here. It's not even November. Look, look at that snow. <laughs> wow. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle all the way. Huh. So this is why the cruise control doesn't work. Oh, what the heck? Uh. Um, no, I don't remember which side the, the radar was. It was either on this side or the other side here. Uh, so, I don't know, the radar is supposed to be heated or something, right? And, you know, well, by the way, I have Lumar uh, paint protection film here, so it doesn't matter. I, I'm not going to scratch the paint. It's protected behind the, the film. Yeah, so I'm going to just do this, but it's not recommended if you don't have paint protection or clear clear bra whatever they call it but all right, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna clear clear this thing so um uh, now i have like a mouth yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah let me let me draw some eyes here or something well it's it's like a chinese guy yeah ni hao wow that looks badass <laughs> hmm well you know I'm, i should make him i should make optimus I'm smart. No, let's 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 make him mad. I'm gonna make it like like mad mofo here. Okay, so he's he's like yar. Get out of the way. Yeah, he's he's like he's not happy. Ooh, ooh, look at that. <laughs> uh, are we having fun or what? Okay. Anyway, um, I think I'm gonna go to the restroom or. Wow, look at that snow, man. I mean, it, it felt like yesterday when I, I came here with Dolly and we played in the grass over here. And that was like, I don't know, a couple of months ago or something. The time goes fast, so fast. Maybe it was six months ago. That was freaking winter here. Look. Oh. All right, but you know, I, I consume a lot of energy, so I have to juice up. Maybe like uh, 15, 20 minutes, just to be sure. Yeah, shut him up there, kicks ass for the Lord! Oh, yeah. And by the way, it's just not... It's not, not only some dummy adapter, see? There's actually some electronics going on here. And I think it kind of bypasses the juice. Here's a juice flow going in here. And then doing, it's doing something here. Yeah, wow, I don't know how many uh, megawatt hours have gone through this <laughs> adapter. <laughs> It's a lot, yeah. We are now in Aldal. It is snowing a lot outside, uh, zero degrees Celsius. Um, I have to prepare the bed uh, back here. Okay, we've been here for 45 minutes and the car is charged to, well, let's see. Uh, okay, 92%. Yeah, that took 45 minutes, but that started kind of high also, 100 something kilometers. Uh, yeah, let's see, set it back, how much do we have now, ooh, okay, yeah, but we have enough juice to uh, camp somewhere, hmm, so I prepared some of the stuff in the back here, I had to prepare everything once I uh, camp, but, uh, yeah, it's already uh, 15 minutes past uh, 1 a.m. now, so I'm gonna find a place to sleep, get some rest, and then tomorrow, more driving, so, um, 
Good night then. Hmm. Oh, it is uh, eight in the morning now. Yeah, I've been sleeping in the car for six hours. I wish I need. I I wish I could sleep more, but um, I have to um, go pick up some groceries today at um, or Asian store, and they kind of close early on a Sunday. But this is how it looks like. Um, so I have these uh, sunshades, uh, custom made from Evanex for Model X, so they perfectly fit every window. Uh, you see, I sleep in the trunk here. Yeah, I can just lay flat like this. Uh, uh, see, I have... Oh. 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 Okay, so I also have stuff covering those windows and the front windscreen. Yeah, so it works just great. Uh, there is also a white version I tested, uh, but I don't like the white one. I, I prefer the black one, even though it's not that nice looking. It's like glossy black, but it works. Yeah, but let's get going. At the fourth and fast charger at Shell Kopang. It's quite windy today. Uh, I look on the map and it's uh, we have some massive tailwind. That's always good. Uh, but still, I'm juicing up just to be sure <coughs> because we we did spend some energy last night. I calculated that we consumed a whooping um, uh, yeah, over 11 kilometers per hour, which translates to about 2.3 kilowatt <laughs> that's a lot you know what I think that has something to do with the Model X that in the Model S you know you only have heater in the front here but in the Model X you also have rear heater and of course I had it on because I slept in the trunk and that consumes more energy so maybe I think maybe next time I should try to turn this one down all the way or something uh, yeah hmm but Okay, 160 something. Uh, we are 92 kilometers. Uh, in general, I, I estimate two times typical. Yeah, but this time we will spend less than that because uh, we have some slight downhill and also um, uh, tailwind. But still, you know, I don't wanna, I don't want to arrive with no juice there. So we we have to maybe charge 200, anyway, which should, shouldn't take too long. Okay, while we are charging, I'm gonna have some breakfast, which is, which is this, is just some beans. Yeah, and uh, what I like about this one is that <coughs> it comes with a spoon, yes. Uh, and it's just easy open, so it's, it's really easy to eat this thing. Uh, it's very nice for trips, like this. <coughs> and I try, of course, as always, to avoid too many burgers. And if it's a burger, then at least it should be a vegan burger or something. Oh, hang on, hang on. this is always uh, troublesome, you know. Um, you have to let it drip, and then, uh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Let me put it here, and I always have this uh, um, bag for trash. <coughs> oh yes, and then you just eat it right off the can like this. Yeah, it's just some beans and shit. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm.
we are in Elvedon. Yeah, we've been juicing up here for a little while. So when I came here, there were more cars. Uh, so I unhitched. Uh, and also, yeah, the note install wasn't available, so I put the trailer over there. Uh, but now we are um, kind of full-ish. Uh, we're down to 68 kilowatt. Only 68 kilowatt. <laughs> yeah. So um, we don't have to drive that far for the next supercharger. See, we are there. I'm gonna go uh, to Hamal, and then uh, so it's about I don't know, maybe 90 kilometers. So we have plenty of use, but. Um, yeah, oh, well, this one is so big also, so there, there should be plenty of space there for everyone. Yeah, all right. Um, wow, okay, well, <laughs> you see the, the number of uh, people charging at the supercharger varies so much within like 15 minutes. One minute, it can be almost full, and then uh, in a couple of minutes, everyone disappears. So it's just uh, me and... Well, it's me and another car, that's it. Yeah, nice weather compared to yesterday. Hmm. All right, let's go then. We are at the last supercharger for this trip, uh, Nebenes as usual. So I'm gonna show you, the car was clean yesterday when I started driving and now we have, uh, well we have some salt schmutz here in the front. Ooh, and then also some traces after, yeah, when I, uh, <laughs> when I made the smiley face, or the opposite of smiley. Um, yeah, we have lots of salt here on the side. Wow, just after one trip, look at the back, oh, lots of salt, oh, 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 yeah, and also the trailer is pretty dirty, yeah, a lot of schmutz, it was full of snow yesterday, but uh, it has melted on the way here, so, um, you know, I'm just gonna, yeah, I will uh, clean the car and trailer. Now it's so dirty, I don't want, don't want to even touch it. And look, look on this side. This is like, this is a signature for uh, Model X. Now this happens because the wheels are wider, so it throws up dirt. Uh, so you can have this cover here on the wheels to to prevent that. Uh, I wonder why it doesn't come standard. So <laughs> this is uh, so typical on Model X. Yeah. Oh man, but anyway, I think, oh, it is, uh, oh, hold on, hold on. sun is up there, okay, okay, it's very windy, so I'm gonna go inside, grab some food, and uh, chill for a bit, and the car is charging at 110 kilowatt, so um, I need some extra juice, because I had to deliver something in Bairum uh, Spash, yeah, that's a little bit far outside of Oslo.
right, we are finally back home. Yeah, this was uh, not too long trip, only 1,148 kilometers, but uh, nice enough. Okay, yeah, mm, very pleasant to drive with a new battery pack. <laughs> yeah, at least I'm gonna enjoy it for the next, uh, I don't know, five to six months, and then I will probably get that limitation again. And uh, again, as I uh, saw, you know, in winter conditions, as long as you have good tires, it's a piece of cake with uh, all-wheel drive or Tesla Model X and S, of course. So, yes, um, not too interesting trip, nothing uh, dramatic happened. Uh, Optimus Prime is still working just great, so um, um, I don't know what else it is to say. I'm just gonna drive like I stole a car, and then one day it might shut, shut down, one day it mi <laughs> might not. Yeah. All right then, so thank you guys for watching, and by the way, uh, I'm in this weird position because I'm gonna wash the trailer now and then wash the car, uh, at least just spray over it, just high pressure it, yeah. All right, so that's it then, thank you guys, and uh, talk to you later.